Which live TV streaming service has the best DVR? While nearly every cable alternative offers a cloud-based DVR, not all are created equal. In this review, we cover the six top streaming DVRs and help you decide which one gives you the best way to record your favorite shows. Now, admittedly, cloud-based DVRs are a must-have when you stream live TV. You can't catch everything live, so you need a cloud DVR to record games and shows. All of the top streaming DVRs ranked here let you fast forward through commercials. Hulu Live does require an add-on. Many of them delete recordings after a certain period of time or won't let you continue to record once you've reached your cloud DVR storage limit. All right, let's kick things off with number six, Direct TV Stream. Now, Direct TV Stream makes our list of the best streaming DVRs, but only because it has one. We put it in last place because of its pricing structure. Its cheapest plan costs $70 a month, and its most expensive option is a whopping $140. All plans include cloud DVR with a mere 20 hours of storage, and recordings are deleted after 90 days. In a series recording, the most number of episodes you can store is 10. Now you can pay $10 extra per month to upgrade to an unlimited cloud DVR, but that takes your minimum price up to $80 a month. And we think that's just way too expensive and way too much like cable. Yeah, our fifth option, Hulu Live, also feels a bit like cable with its complicated rules and fee-happy structure. A Hulu Live subscription costs $65 a month and includes 50 hours of cloud DVR storage. Thankfully, there is no limit on how long you can keep your recordings. Like all the options here, your included storage is shared across all your profiles. So if you have three profiles, you don't get 50 hours per profile, but 50 to share across all three. If you want more than what comes standard, you'll need to pay an extra $10 a month. That will give you 200 hours of DVR capacity and the ability to skip commercials, which isn't possible with the standard DVR. Yeah, now let's move on to our fourth best streaming DVR, Sling TV. Sling packages its channels into two plans, Sling Orange and Sling Blue. You can get either one for $35 a month or both for $50. All packages include 50 hours of cloud DVR storage, and you can upgrade to 200 hours for an extra $5 a month. There is no limit on how long you can keep your recordings. Like all of the services mentioned here, you can watch recordings on a TV, device, phone, or computer. Another nice feature Sling offers is the ability to hold your recordings for 30 days after you pause your subscription. Yeah, you know, pausing or canceling your service is a huge benefit over cable. It's something many cord cutters forget to do, but you definitely should. And if you have Sling, it's nice to know that you can pause your service and not lose your recordings as long as you start again within 30 days. You can learn more about Sling in our review. Now, let's move on to number three, Fubo TV. Fubo TV includes 250 hours of cloud DVR storage in its base plan, which costs $65 a month. There's no limit on how long you can keep your recordings. If you want more than that, you can sign up for the Pro plan, which costs $69.99 a month and includes 1,000 hours of DVR space. You'll also get unlimited screens with that plan, especially if you record a lot of sports and have multiple games you want to keep for some time, either Fubo TV plan could be a good option for you. Yeah, now let's move on to our second best streaming DVR option, Philo TV. What we love most about Philo is its price. For just $25 a month, you get unlimited cloud DVR storage and you can keep recordings for a year. The only downside is that Philo does not have locals or sports channels and its news offerings are fairly limited. We're actually torn between Fubo TV and Philo. Ultimately, we ranked Philo ahead of Fubo because it's cheaper and its DVR is unlimited. However, if you want sports and local channels, Fubo TV is a better choice for you. You can watch our Philo review to learn more about that streaming service. Yeah, but let's say you're like me and you need sports then our top streaming DVR option is going to be your best bet, and it's YouTube TV. At $65 a month, it's right in line with Fubo TV, Hulu Live, and is a bit cheaper than DirecTV Stream. Best of all, it's simple and straightforward, which is what we love about it. You get an unlimited cloud DVR storage capacity, and you can keep your recordings for nine months. Chances are pretty good that if you want to watch something, you'll do it in that amount of time, unless you're a procrastinator like me. This also means that every profile on your YouTube TV account can record as many shows as they want. And there's only one plan in YouTube TV. 
It includes ESPN, Fox Sports, and professional networks like NFL and NBA networks, and all your locals and news and entertainment channels. It's hands down the best option if you want a higher priced live TV streaming service with a robust cloud DVR and local channels. Yep, so you've seen our list, but how do you know which one is best for you? Well, choosing the best one for you comes down to which one fits your budget and your viewing habits. How many shows do you want to hold on to? If it's not much and you want to keep your costs down, Sling TV could be ideal. Or if you want to record a lot but don't need sports, Philo costs even less. If you want to record a lot of sports in particular, look at Fubo TV or YouTube TV. Ultimately though, it's not just about the best DVR. It's also about which service has the most channels that you want. Because what good is a massive DVR if there's nothing on that you want to record? We create a quick and simple streaming quiz that we link to below. Take it to find out which streaming service is best for you. Yeah, and if you want more help about how to cut the cord and save $1,200 or more per year, check out our Kill Cable Cord Cutting course. In it, we cover everything you need to know about streaming equipment, live and on-demand streaming services, how to set a streaming budget, getting internet without cable, and more. You also get access to our closed Facebook group where we share additional content and which you can use to ask more questions of our cord cutters community. We talk about things like which streaming services are best for sports fans or news buffs. And we go into greater detail about things like DVR service, which we covered at a high level here. Yeah, if you want to know more about that course, check out that link below. Well, that does it for us in this review. Let us know what you think of our rankings in the comments below. Do you rank a different service as number one? Yeah, and make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get our latest streaming news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.